This is the Laowa 50mm f2, a lens that will make many Leica M-mount camera shooters very happy. In the past I've tried a couple of Laowa super wide angles, like the lovely 9mm f5.6, which I had an absolute blast with. What was amazing wasn't just that it was a 9mm non-fisheye full-frame lens, but it was also rangefinder coupled. I've also tried their 12 to 24 rangefinder coupled zoom lens. They are both sharp enough and very well built. And given their uniqueness, there's not like there is any real competition. The 15mm f2 is no exception, simply because of the wide f2 aperture. There really isn't much out there to compare it to. It's quite small, smaller than I expected. Unfortunately, it's big enough to partly block the focusing patch on the Pixie. Bummer, but the lens is still usable in my opinion. The only other negative is that it lacks a focusing tab. The 9mm doesn't have one either, but the zoom does. I get that it's probably so one don't accidentally zoom instead of focus, but still, I would have wanted it on all of them. With the negatives out of the way, let's look at the positives. A rangefinder coupled 15mm wide angle with an f2 aperture that delivers sharp images for less than $700. It opens up for a lot of creativity. I have to use it without the sun hood, but I haven't had any unwanted flaring I couldn't handle. Sharpness is there, the f2 aperture is very nice, on the Pixie it's not that needed since I can push the ISO a lot, but if you carry an M8 or Epson RD1 this will become very handy. The lens is of course full frame, the 9mm was even quite usable on medium format, but I haven't tested that with the 15mm. Shallow depth of field isn't really a thing at these angles, so the aperture isn't going to turn it into a portrait lens, but all three lenses can focus closer than the rangefinder's closest focusing distance. With a close focus adapter, the 9mm could focus inside itself. That about does it. Like always, my lens reviews are short. I can only say if it works as advertised, the rest is up to you. And you better judge image quality outside of YouTube anyway. Let us know your thoughts on it down in the comment section. Until next time, goodbye!